Kevin Durant has been all over Twitter making tons of mistakes, saying things that he shouldn't say, saying things that he could have said when he was on the old team that he played for. Personally, his tweets about Oklahoma City Thunder really didn't do much for me because everything he said was right on point, in my opinion. Oklahoma City Thunder were a cheap organization. They lost James Harden over $4 million for the length of his contract. They didn't want to pay an extra $4 million when the owner of the team is the oil baron. So let's put that into perspective. Another thing that he said was the team was largely Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant, which is absolutely true. If you remember the fact that the Oklahoma City Thunder a couple years ago had a 3-1 lead against the Golden State Warriors. Steven Adams was playing well. Roberson was hitting threes. That's how they built that 3-1 lead. Down the stretch, OKC needed someone other than Westbrook and Kevin Durant to make plays, i.e. Deion Waiters, Roberson, Steven Adams, Ennis Cantor. Not one of those guys made a play. They couldn't make any plays. They played horribly. So we could say Kevin Durant blew a 3-1 lead or Westbrook and Kevin Durant blew a 3-1 lead. That entire team, that entire organization, that entire coaching staff blew the 3-1 lead. It wasn't just a Westbrook and Durant issue. It was in the entire team issue because they didn't build the team properly. Not even Ibaka could hit a shot. He couldn't get buckets. He couldn't do anything. So that being said, his tweets, even though they were harsh, they were the truth about what happened. And I know at times the truth hurts. It's just weird for Kevin Durant to come out after the fact to explain himself and make these pop shots at his old teammates, at, at the organization, at the coaching staff. He didn't like playing for Billy Donovan, which kind of makes sense in a, in a way because Billy didn't have that much experience, but he's still a great coach in the NBA. He has a great experience in NCAA, but NCAA basketball and NBA basketball is a little bit different. That being said, Kevin Durant has to stop tweeting. He has to stop tweeting. He has to stop going on Instagram. Whatever he's doing on social media, he has to let it go. He has to let it go because he is entering the danger zone. Entering the danger zone. We all remember when the Indiana Pacers had a 2-1 lead against the Miami Heat. Roy Hibbert was playing great. Roy Hibbert went and said something about homosexuals. Or he used um, a derogatory term. And... That basically imploded his game. That put so much pressure on him to perform the next game due to his bad comments that it it tore down his game. The Indiana Pacers blew the 2-1 lead. It was a wrap. Kevin Durant is entering that, that kind of stage where his focus off the court, his distractions off the court are becoming so big that it's going to affect the way that he plays during the regular season and somewhat into the playoffs. He continues this trend of responding to everybody, uh, creating other accounts, responding to people in the third person. It's going to affect his game on the court. You have to have blinders on when you're one of the top players in the NBA. It, it, just in life, in general. You have to have blinders on in general. People talk trash about you. You got to just focus on your path. You know, Major Hype says, I'm all about the ne I'm all about the positivity, Pop. You miss me with the negativity. Like, at the end of the day, it's true. You have to be solely focused on being positive, solely focused on the task at hand. You can't be on social media making snafus. Durant already had an issue in India where he said they were behind. He had to apologize for that. He has to apologize to you know OKC fans for basically the move that he made. You know, like a lot of critics. He had to. Explain himself for that. Now he has to apologize for his tweets on top of that. So he's already issued three to four apologies this summer. How many apologies are you going to make until you realize that this is not the move to make? This is not the thing to be doing. You know, you can say sorry all you want, but sometimes the best way to say sorry is by not repeating the same mistakes over and over and over. Social media for Durant is a mistake. You're an NBA champion. And this is the other point that I want to make. That Durant is an NBA champion. He doesn't have to answer to anybody anymore. He's proved his point. He went and made a decision that everybody critiqued him for. And he came out victorious. 
Now, people are the naysayers are still gonna say you have to win to a 73 and 9 team to win. That's not the same 73 9 team. They don't still have Harrison Barnes, they don't still have Andrew Bogan, they don't still have Barbosa. Their bench was completely de depleted. They still have the same stars, but it's not the exact same team. And you know what's kind of crazy? The same people that critique Durant for going to the Golden State Warriors. And I, everybody rewind yourself to last summer. When they were going into the, regular, the NBA season, everybody had Cleveland. All the analysts said they think Cleveland can repeat. They think that the Golden State Warriors team is too small. They're going to get pounded. Charles Barkley, Chris Webber, all these guys made the same prediction. Cleveland's going to come, win the NBA Finals. And what happened? They, they lost in five. So I don't know if that was just like a, a shot in the dark for them, if they were just joking. But you guys really said that there's no way they're going to win. They blew a 3-1 lead. Golden State blew a 3-1 lead. Durant blew a 3-1 lead. Putting them together, that's not going to work. It worked. So Durant proved his point. He won, he won his championship. He got his ring. When you're an NBA champion, you got to put all that stuff to the side. Everybody hating on you. Anybody throwing shots at you on social media, you got to throw that to the side. Eliminate all distractions because I can really see this affecting Durant and his game. Because Durant seems like the kind of person that he takes everything personally. He's going to respond to you whether he should or he should not. You know, he can have a conversation. Let's say he can have a conversation with somebody like, all right, we're going to leave us alone. Somebody says something to him. He's right back on it. And that can affect his game. That can affect his game. If you see how they blew the 3-1 lead, a lot of it was psychological where he couldn't get along with Westbrook and... The Warriors did things to affect his game mentally. And teams can see that, wait, Durant is easily offended. Durant easily gets annoyed. Let's get to him psychologically. Because physically, we can't do anything. He's 6'11", he can shoot, he can dribble, he can take it to the rack. He has all the moves in the world. But mentally, teams can get into a psyche. And that is what LeBron James did for, to Durant for so long. He attacked Durant's psyche for many years, years and years and years and years. That's why LeBron overall has a, a great winning record against Durant because mentally he was able to take Durant out of the game. And what we want for Durant is for him not to check out of the game and to check into social media. We want him to check into the game, check into the season, check into the small parts, check into getting better. Because at the end of the day, you won one championship, now can you repeat? Can you get two? Can you get three? Can you live up to the hype that was built around this team? And I don't see you living up to the hype if you're constantly focused on social media. He has to get off of social media. He has to just ignore people. At the end of the day, he has to ignore people. And what he can do is, an alternative, is to take their quotes, their comments, print it, put it on his wall. And after he wins another title, he purges and he lets everybody know, oh, at so and so 92 you thought i couldn't do this without but at so and so whatever at steven ace but at this at that then you at them save that for motivation because right now you're using your killer instinct for twitter beef when you need to use that killer instinct for the nba this is vladimir Bruce junction with who's me super peace